Um, it's 9.35. Let's get started. And, and let's go Let's go to a comfortable position that we know quite well and is familiar with us. Um, again, we're at home. I'm at home. Um, I don't have all the, um, the blocks and props that yeah, I don't either. I or I not. So what I have done, I have gotten a couple of blocks, I've gotten a couple of blankets of my own. I even picked up a fat pillow off my bed and that's what I'm going to use the bolster today. So if anybody has a pillow or something like that, we're going to go into our heart open and lay back on our mat, lay on our spine with that big pillow. And we're just going to lay back, enjoy, let's go about five minutes. I think today we really need it. Um, do I have April this morning? Is April here? And everybody can hear me, right? So we're laying back, our chest is up, our arms are straight beside us. I'm doing some of these poses with you, so if you can't see me quite right or you need me to, um, if you need to see better and see what I'm doing, please just reach out. Laying on our backs, you can have your feet in toddler's pose, butterfly pose, or just stretched out in front of you. Drape those arms to the sides. And slowly, let's let all butterflies, all the confetti in our heads. Maybe the last two minutes of trying to get a set. Let's let this go. Maybe just a little bit. Okay. Start to slowly breathe.
let's start with our deep breathing. On an inhale, all the way in your nose. Try and get every little piece of breath. And on the next one, slowly let it out. All the way out. Let's do a few more thumbs in through the nose. And then out through the mouth. Maybe thinking of our intention for the day. Maybe not thinking about anything. Slowly, let's take our left hand and come over to our right ear. And gently lean over to our left side without pulling or tugging, just guiding, guiding that head like it's dripping like water. And slowly bringing our hand back to the ground and taking our opposite hand, our right hand, to our left ear, and slowly draping over to the right side. Slowly raising back up and maybe going in a little circle with your head and neck. Back and forth. Kind of slowly. Let's start moving a little bit more and let's come to tabletop on our hands and our knees. Shoulders over our wrist, knees slightly apart, hips square. And let's do some cat and cows. So arch that back like a cat, like a mad cat. And really hollow out that belly, sucking that core. On exhale, let's come to cow. And on another inhale, our mad cat hauling out that belly. Maybe wiggling around, finding comfort in some figure eights. Start getting a little bit warmer. And coming again to stillness in our tabletop. And let's raise our right foot, our right leg to the back wall. Giving that leg a nice little stretch, maybe wiggling your ankle around in circles. Now taking your left arm, let's hold it out straight ahead and get a little bit of balance. Right leg out, left hand out. And really stretch. Get those muscles activated. And then come back to tabletop. Let's do the opposite side. Let's take our left foot straight out to the back of the wall. Stretch, stretch. Maybe twist those ankles around. Now taking your right hand, reaching it out, straight ahead to the wall, and just a big stretch from the tip of your toes to the end of your fingertips. Nice. Good job, Janelle. Now let's come to our first velocina, our child's toes. Big toes together. Bottom in the air, hands flat on your mat. Let's 
taking a breath and let's come into our first downward dog of the day curling those toes under pushing up really activating those legs since it's our first downward dog of the day maybe we want to pedal our feet out get our hamstrings a little warm really breathe And don't forget your child's pose and your downward facing dog are resting poses. So if any time during your practice you feel the need to come to one of those, please do so. Now from our downward dog, we're going to walk our hands, our feet, I'm sorry, up to the top of the mat. You can hop, skip, or jump. And let's come into a forward fold. And then half lift. And another forward fold. Let's sweep those arms straight up to the sky. Pinkies touching, bringing our arms back down to heart center and resting in our mountain pose, Tadasana. Let's, from our mountain pose, let's start off with a sun salutation A. And Miss Therese will have to get her classes. <laughs> okay, on an inhale, let's look up, reach up to the sky. Really strengthening our back, stretching our spine. And then coming down to a forward fold. Half lift. And then on an exhale, let's come into our chaturanga. Come into high plank. Rolling down. Upward facing dog. And then coming to downward facing dog. Look between our hands, walk, step, or jump forward into half lift and forward fold. And then rising back up into mountain pose, Tadasana. Moving on to B, swinging those hands straight up to the sky. Sinking down into our chair pose, Utkatasana. Hold it for just a minute, making sure you tuck that pelvis in. Bottoms in, pelvis in. And then slowly come to a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Coming into high plank, lowering down, upward facing dog, and then meeting in downward facing dog. Raising our right foot to the sky, swing it forward between our hands, and coming up into warrior one. Hands up in the air. Your back foot is parallel to the mat. And then coming down to your warrior chaturanga. Again, downward facing dog. Hold 
hop, skip, or jump between your hands. And bringing ourselves up to warrior on the left. Hands are pointed directly to the sky. And swing your arms and hands back to our foot, coming into Chaturanga. Meeting in downward facing dog. Let's hop, skip, or jump to the front of our mats. Half lift, forward fold. And maybe taking those elbows and swinging them side to side. Coming back to stillness. Taking our arms up to the sky, tucking our pelvis in, Utkatasana, chair pose. And let's see if we can sink a little bit further than we did. And then relaxing, coming back up into your mountain pose. Now we're going to work on a little bit of our balance. So coming up to a standing position on your mat. And I just want to see everyone. <laughs> Looking good, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see everybody so far. Oh, I know. Okay. We're going to do our tree, our um, tree pose. So firmly plant your foot, your right foot into the mat or the floor or wherever you're at and it's sturdy and solid. Taking that left foot, kick standing it to your ankle. Then maybe if you feel like it, hands on hip, bring that foot to your calf. Bring it on up past your knee and to your inner thigh if that's your, if that's your thing today. Your day is different. Keeping your hands on your hip or maybe lifting your hands into your tree. Or maybe even letting your branches fly. <laughs> Using a wall if you need to for balance. And slowly bring our hands back to our hip. Maybe taking a hold of that left knee and pulling it in front of you. Just a little bit more balance, just a little bit. Swing it out, and then we'll be sliding it back in to meet your right foot. Now shake your feet out, and we'll do the other side. So on your left foot, really grind it in. Kick stand, hands on your hips or wherever they want to be. Use your inner thigh or your calf. Don't ever use your knee though. Knees are very important to us. We want to keep them healthy. Excellent, Janelle. Excellent. And it's always one side that's different from the other from week to week. And when you're ready, slowly bring your arms down, your foot down. Good job. I want to see who all I can see. There's Janelle. There's Jen. It's Tina. Okay. Back to everybody. Perfect. Okay. 
Now let's take um, a little wide stance, maybe just to the edges of your mat. Pull your hands up into goddess and slowly lowering down. Keeping that pelvis tilted in and back straight. And slowly lower again. Excellent. Taking your hands to your hips and slowly, very slowly, come into a forward fold. Taking your hands to your mat, filling the backs of those legs, your spine. And depending on how far you can go, you can go to your forearms or your head. I think today I'm just going to my hands. And then for those of us with hamstrings that are tight this morning, maybe go to the right, taking that left leg to the left, kind of like a crab, and then crawling your way to the other side, and kicking the right leg out to the side. Maybe do that a couple of times. Give ourselves a nice stretch. And slowly coming up. from your forward fold and coming up one vertebrae at a time, just slowly be mindful of that back. And now in our mountain pose, we're gonna come back into our chair and get a nice juicy twist. So coming to your chair pose and bringing those hands down to heart center. We're gonna take our left elbow to the right knee, having your hands facing the wall in front of you or the camera or your phone. Holding this for three breaths. And then coming to center and taking it to the left side, the left knee. Ponytail to the back wall. And then coming back up, come back into our chair pose, and let's try and sink just a little bit further, just a tiny bit, keeping that pelvis tucked in, feeling a little burn in the legs. Yeah. And then relaxing into mountain pose. From mountain pose, we're going to come with starting with our right foot, 
and swinging it forward and back into warrior one. Foot's parallel to the back of your mat, hands are straight up above. And then sinking down into warrior two. Taking time to make sure your gaze is over your middle finger. Shoulders away from ears. Easing back into Peaceful Warrior. Feeling that side stretch. Easing our left hand down our left leg. And then coming into Side Angle. Arching that arm over your head. And then windmilling down to your chaturanga. Lowering the high plank. Upward facing dog. And meeting me in downward facing dog. Now swinging your left leg back, bringing it forward into warrior one. Sinking down into warrior two. And again, make sure you can see your toes or your knee. Keeping those shoulders down from your ears. Sinking back into peaceful warrior. And then coming into side angle. And windmilling down to your chaturanga. And back up to downward facing dog. Come downward facing dog. Let's roll into a velocity, child's pose, big toes together. And then back up into facing dog. Let's do that one more time. Coming down on your knees, child's pose, velocity. And then back up to downward facing dog. Now coming down to a high plank. Let's take our plank to the right side, taking our left arm up to the sky. Trying to make sure you have at least one foot grounded on the mat. Feeling how strong you are. And then coming back to high plank and taking it back to the left. One foot at least for planted. Right arm straight up to the sky. And each time you do this, you just realize how much stronger you can get, how much stronger you are. And coming back down into high plank and then into downward facing dog. Now with a hop, skip, or jump, coming to the top of your mat, and coming into a nice, easy seated position. Let's bring our feet together, cobbler's pose. Mm -hmm. 
how they're wiggling those sit bones nice into the mat. On an inhale, stretching that spine up and gradually forward fold over to your feet. And go as low as, that, as your body would like to make sure you. Now coming back up, stretching those feet out, maybe shaking them out. Coming into staff pose. And again, sitting tall, stretching that back and sides tall and long. And then coming forward. And if you can, grab your feet or your toes. If that's not for you today, then grab your ankles or your calves. Feeling how warm our muscles have already gotten this morning. Bringing our knees up, sitting in a nice hug. Bring both our knees together, just hug them up. And then taking that left foot over that right leg. And you can keep that right leg straight if you like, a little closer in. And let's do another twist. Wrapping our left arm around our left knee, taking our right hand behind us, softly gazing over our right shoulder. Feeling that twist, just wringing out our body. And slowly untwist. And going back to opposite sides. I'm going to put my left foot straight out. My right knee firmly to my chest. My right arm wrapped around it. Taking my left hand and gazing over my left shoulder. And slowly unwinding out of your twist. Let's do a little core work. We're going to work on our little boats. Since it's raining so much, I think it's appropriate. So when you're ready, and stretch out our legs, hands to our sides, lift those knees, lift your feet, and let's try and hold this for two breaths. And bringing them back down. I know everybody loves a little core. Summer's coming and we're gonna need it. Okay, we're gonna come up again into our boat. And this time, let's see if we can do five breaths. So, feet up, knees up. If you need help, you can put your hands behind your knees and kind of help hold them up until you're ready to relax your hands beside you. Keeping that core holding tight and always breathing. 
Don't hold your breath. Almost there. Yay. And feet can go back down. <sighs> Wiggle yourself out. Let's get, how about we get a little pigeon in? So coming back to tabletop on our hands and feet. And then curling our toes under. Coming back into downward facing dog. Swinging that right leg up to the sky. And then swinging it in front of you and laying it parallel on the mat. And this is a good time to get whatever props that you have. Um, if you have a blanket or a pillow or something, you might want to put it under that right side to give it a little more support. The beauty at home, you really can find so many props that you didn't realize could make great yoga props. And when you're ready, slowly inch your way down and maybe come to your forearms. Or maybe sinking down with your forehead on the mat. And this is a pose that sometimes is difficult to quiet your mind with. Just keep breathing. Maybe wiggle around just a tiny bit just to get into a little better spot. And when you're ready to come out of your pigeon, slowly crawl your hands back to your body, holding your chest up, maybe using that left knee as leverage so you can swing your foot out. And let's do a counter stretch, which is going to be kind of tough sometimes. So swing that right leg back to the back wall and really get a nice counter stretch. And then bringing it back down and rolling from your toes up to your downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Swinging that left foot high in the sky. And then swinging it forward towards your hands, parallel with your mats. See if this side is different from your other side. See if you need assistance with your pillow or your block or blanket. And when you're comfortable and ready, start lowering yourself down. Forearms, forehead, or just staying up in pigeon. Your arms up if that feels good to you.
When you're ready to come out of your pigeon, slowly walk your hands back towards your body, using that opposite knee to free your legs so it can swing back out. And let's push up to the next counter stretch again on the left side this time. Really stretch it toward the back wall. Coming back in to tabletop with a neutral spine. Let's begin to thread our needles. That right arm all the way up to the sky. And then swinging it down underneath your left arm. Laying the side of your head on your mat. Utilizing your shoulder. And then coming back up and threading that needle. Wrapping the tabletop. Let's do the other side. Swinging that left arm and hand to the sky. And then swooping it under your right arm. And then threading that needle back to tabletop, coming down into a nice, easy seated pose. How is everybody doing? We're doing okay? Good. Good. Okay, bringing that right foot up to the middle of your thigh or your inner thigh as far as it can. Keeping that left leg straight, reach up tall and come down over our foot as far as you can. And then releasing and coming to the other leg, bringing that left foot up into the inner thigh. Foot straight out. Reaching up big and tall and stretching out over that right leg. And then release and take um, whatever you have, like your, your blanket or some type of block or your pillow or bolster and recline on the small part of your back with the block or block-like item on your sacrum. And get it in just that right spot, that feel-good spot. Maybe roll back on it a little bit, give it a little massage. And then eventually straighten your legs up to the sky, letting that circulation go in a different direction.
If you'd like to go a little further into your plow, feel free. And releasing back down. One more little rub on that or block. Really nice rub that, that back. Okay, feet flat to the mat. Starting that block out. Let's come into our last twist of the day. Arms out to a T. Knees up to your chest. And slowly draping the knees over to the right side. Taking your gaze to the left. Maybe taking that right hand and like lightly placing it on your knee. Whatever feels good for you. This is your practice. Bringing those knees back up and slowly drape them over to the left side. With your gaze going to the right. on an inhale, pulling those knees up to the center, maybe hugging them in tight. Maybe taking a nice happy baby and just massage that back out just a little bit more. And then when you're ready, slowly stretching your legs out on the mat. Maybe taking a full body stretch from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers. Slowly relax into your shavasana. Covering yourself with a blanket. Closing your eyes.
you're ready, slowly bringing yourself back to awareness. Maybe twisting those wrists, wiggling those toes. Coming to your favorite side and just hold that for a moment. When you're ready, coming up to your mat in an easy seated position. I want to thank y'all for allowing me to share a practice today. And thank you for sharing mine. Namaste.